In this video, we'll talk about liver function test. Please use a headphone for better audio quality. So, what is liver function test? Liver function test is a blood test that determines what is the functionality of the liver, whether the liver is damaged due to a disease or an injury. How does liver function test work? Liver function test actually determines level of certain enzymes and protein in our blood. Many of these proteins and enzymes are not supposed to be in elevated level in our blood. But if their levels are elevated, that would be indicative of any kind of liver injury. Now let's talk about how liver functioning test is performed. So it's just a blood test. Here, a medical technician draws some amount of blood from you and from the blood, several tests are performed. And these tests can be used to screen for liver infections such as hepatitis. It can be used to monitor the progression of a disease such as viral or alcoholic hepatitis. It can measure the severity of a disease, particularly in case of fatty liver disease or cirrhosis. It can also monitor the possible side effects of a given medication. Let's see how liver functioning test really works. So liver functioning test de determines bunch of enzymes from our blood. Now it would tell us how well the liver is performing in its and how its normal function is affected due to some injury. For example, liver generally clears out bilirubin. This particular test would tell us how well it can do so. Now there are certain enzymes and proteins and elements which are tested in this particular blood test. These are alanine transaminase ALT, these are aspartate transaminase AST, alkaline phosphatase ALP, albumin, gamma glutamyl transferase or GGT, L-lactate dehydrogenase LD, prothrombin time, and bilirubin. All of these array of tests are performed to understand the overall health and whether there is an injury in the liver or not. Now, the first and the foremost important thing is the ALT and AST levels. ALT and AST are important for amino acid metabolism. ALT converts alanine into pyruvate, AST converts aspartate into oxaloacetate and thereby they are really important for amino acid metabolism. Their normal level is given here. If their level is increased than the normal blood levels, that would be indicative of liver injury. Generally, ALT and AST is very low in blood, but they are highly enriched in the liver. When there is an injury in the liver, they leak out into the blood, and that's why we can find them more often in the blood. Next, alkaline phosphatase is really important factor that is determined in the liver functioning test. Normal level is 40 to 120 units per liter. Alkaline phosphatase is an enzyme that is produced by the liver, also found in bone and other extrahepatic tissues, and it helps in breaking down proteins. Higher than normal level of alkaline phosphatase is an indicative of liver damage such as cirrhosis, hepatitis, a blockage in the bile duct, or many other things such as swelling of the liver. Now, prothrombin time is another parameter to understand or it's an important parameter to assess the liver functioning. Normal prothrombin time is 10.9 seconds to 12.5 seconds. This is the time that is required for a blood to coagulate. So, liver produces prothrombin and many other coagulation factor. All of these factors are important for clotting. Now, if there is less production of these factors, that means liver function is compromised and that is why the prothrombin time is now increased. So, any increase in prothrombin time would increase the time for blood clot and that would be an indicative of liver damage. Now, prothrombin time can be elevated due to other reasons as well and it is not exclusive to liver damage. For example, if you have a vitamin K deficiency or you might be suffering from a uh, clotting disorder, it's also possible that you are taking some kind of drug that is a blood thinning agent such as warfarin. 
Now, next thing is bilirubin. Bilirubin tells us a lot about liver's function. Bilirubin is generated by RBC destruction, heme protein catabolism, and sometimes due to bone marrow erythropoiesis. Bilirubin gets into the liver, gets conjugated in a conjugated bilirubin form. Then ultimately in the large intestine, it forms the fecal stercobilinogen and that's how it is excreted. And that's how liver efficiently excretes and metabolize bilirubin. Now, if there is too much of bilirubin, then there is a problem. And it is in case of liver injury, such as let's say jaundice, it has been seen the bilirubin level is elevated. Alternatively, in diseases like hemolytic anemia, the level of bilirubin can be increased because RBC destruction ultimately give rise to bilirubin. So it's also an important indicative of liver's function. 1.2 milligrams per deciliter is the normal level of bilirubin in adults. Next, we should talk about gamma glutamyl transferase or GGT. This is an important enzyme and this is also present in liver and it is only present in the blood when there is a liver damage, in that time it leaks into the bloodstream. Higher than normal levels would indicate there is an obstructive bile duct damage or a liver damage. Now, we understood these kind of basic biology and how these enzymes are really important in context of liver. Now, let's try to understand how to interpret the uh, liver functioning test result. So, these are some sample reports. Here you can see all the parameters and all these parameters are now familiar with you guys, such as alkaline phosphatase, ALT, AST, then serum globulin, then bilirubin, all of these things are kind of like very familiar right now, right? So in the right hand side, you can see the normal range is provided and you have to understand the values fall within the normal range or outside the normal range. Then it has to be correlated from a clinical perspective to understand or interpret the disease. In the sample report 2, you can see there is an elevation of ALT and AST that indicates there is something wrong. But in order to understand what has gone wrong, other histories has to be taken and thorough analysis has to be done. Let me tell you why it is really important. None of these factors individually are important, but a combination of factors can tell us much about the disease. For example, ALT is much more specific in context of a liver disease than AST. If we put it in a clinical perspective, in case of let's say alcoholic hepatitis, ALT doesn't go over 300. But there is an increased AST-ALT ratio. In case of um, let's say non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, there is often a low AST-ALT ratio. Now, marked elevation in ALT AST levels are seen in many cases, such as liver injury, viral hepatitis, ischemic li liver injury, all of these cases. Not only ALT but AST, but there are other enzymes which can tell us many things about liver injury, such as alkaline phosphatase, such as uh, GGT levels. Let's say you have a very high alkaline phosphatase level, but a normal GGT level. That could indicate there is an extra hepatic injury. If there are elevation of both ALP and GGT, there could, there could be an injury in the bile duct. So all of these parameters would tell us about how our liver is functioning in, in a particular clinical perspective. So I hope this was useful. You can get a lot of notes and flashcards in my Facebook page and Instagram page. My Facebook and Instagram handle are same and this is given here. Also, the link is provided in the description. You can support me via Patreon or Bhim UPI app if you're an Indian viewer. Alternatively, you can support my channel by clicking on the super like option. You can connect to me via various social media. All the links are provided in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comment whether these things are useful and if you have